Welcome back to a brand new session, brand new video, chat GPT for DevOps. Now this is a trending topic as we speak and I wanted to take few minutes of yours to talk about what chat GPT is meant for DevOps. My name is Sean and I'm gonna take you through this session wherein I'm gonna talk about what chat GPT is gonna be helpful or harmful for DevOps. Let's get started. So what we have got in front of us is uh, we've got the agenda which is where we're going to cover we get started with the chat GPT definition uh, we're going to cover chat GPT for DevOps we're not going to get into much of definition but rather getting into uh, the actual configuration and DevOps hands-on part wherein over here we're going to generate bunch of Terraform files using chat GPT and then we're going to apply these Terraform files on Azure and then uh, in an upcoming session I've kept this for upcoming session uh, generate a CI CD file, uh, file for uh, TF code for any of the platform could be Bitbucket, GitHub, uh, GitLab, Azure DevOps all right so what chat gpd is now i'm just not gonna delve much deeper into this uh, however chat gpd is a language model developed by openai and openai is the parent company and under the chat gpd is built it's a part of openai's generative uh, pre-trained transformer uh, that's what the um, full form of GPD is of language model which use deep learning algorithm to generate text based uh, on pattern in large amount of text data it's specifically designed to generate human like text in response to prompts making it ideal for use in conversation AI uh, application like chat ops chat bots the model has been trained on a massive data sets and it's just evolving uh, with time uh, so without further ado let's get into the use case so what i've got is i as a devops engineer been assigned a task to write bunch of terraform code uh, because i want to create bunch of infrastructure onto azure how do i do it let's suppose i'm a newbie and i want to do it using chat chat a GPT. So how I'm gonna do is, um, I'm gonna use Chat GPT. I'm gonna ask Chat GPT, Chat GPT to create bunch of Terraform files for me, so that I can run those files and create an infrastructure on Azure. So that's that's pretty much about it. That's that's the that's the requirement which we have got. That as a DevOps engineer, I want to create bunch of Terraform files which I want to apply on Azure, right? And then eventually, this is the whole model which you want to see. Um, all right, that's about it. Let's get into the demo and get started. All right. So what I've, we have got is already I've got an Azure account and I don't have a storage account. Let's suppose I want to create a storage account. So I've got my chat GPD open. So it's chat. Uh, I'm going to paste in the link chat.openai.com. I'm going to log in and you could log in using uh, Google account, Gmail account or Microsoft Outlook account as well. So I've got this account. I'm just going to hit enter use this account i've already logged into this account so this is what i'm gonna use so i'm gonna create a new chat so as soon as you open the chat gpd box you see the screen where you can start writing your query uh, you can convert this into a dark mode as well or light mode i'm gonna keep it in the dark mode and there's a discord channel as well so let's suppose i start very simple hi um it's gonna give me a response that okay my name is this and uh, how can i help you uh, i want to ask can i call you by name so it's it's like as if you're talking to somebody right uh, and it's all text based uh, no videos no graphical interface it's all text based all right uh, i would like to give you a name so let's probably start a little human approach oriented let's suppose i would like to call you my helper probably a 
better name uh, something I, i'll give you my name i'll give it my name i would like to call you shan all right shan can you generate terraform file to create storage account on azure so i don't know how to create storage account so i'm telling chat gpt to create it for me as soon as i hit enter it is gonna it's text based all text based so it's gonna give me a file which is gonna give me all the details about how to how to generate a terraform code for storage account so as you can see it starts with you know if you don't know anything about storage account and as you can see it has uh, variableize it as well so got as you can see it has not variableized it so you can simply copy this and paste it as well let's suppose i i want to variableize these names i i could do that as well so i could say please variableize variableize above for me sure here's an updated version of terraform file now it's gonna variableize the entire file for us so as you can see now it has just variableized it uh, keeping variable in a separate section and uh, keeping the actual code in a separate section so we can simply copy this one and post it into our uh, terraform file all right this is going to take few seconds so while this is happening what i've done is i've already created a chat gpt uh, folder what i'm going to do is i'm just going to create a new file main.tf you could give it any name and paste in the code which is uh, i'm going to ask how do i run above code let's suppose i don't know how to do it so even if you have spell checks spell errors um this is just going to ignore and use their own chat gpt's own in um intelligence and uh, identify that for us so it's saying that to run the above code install terraform uh, and then initialize plan and apply let's say i want to ask you a question to chat gpt can you install terraform on my system if i do that uh, <clears throat> most likely um, chat gpt is going to say that it doesn't have privileges it doesn't have privileges to access my system and apply anything so if i just hit enter you would say i'm sorry i am uh, ai language model i don't have the ability uh, to install software on your system so that's completely fine it's just a text based model wherein it doesn't have the capability to access your system and start running software on top of it all right so what i'm going to do is i am just going to copy this code and i'm going to come back over here and paste it all right looks fine now if i let's suppose it is asking me to run using terraform init plan so i've already got terraform installed if you don't know how to do it you can ask chat gpt and it has given you a reference to do that all right so now what i'm going to do is i'm just going to say terraform init it is going to initialize and just going to create a dot terraform folder for us and uh, that's about it now if i do a terraform plan this should error out because there has to be a authentication between terraform and azure right so you've got an error insufficient feature block so now let's copy this and ask chat gpt to fix this error i am getting an error please help okay i'm sorry to hear so chat gpt's response is i'm sorry to hear that you're encountering an error can you please uh, paste in the error code so i'm going to paste in the error code and let's see if chat gpt is able to help us with the error or not all right so it's pretty intelligent it says the error message you are encountering means that the azure rm provider in your well is missing a feature block so i'm just going to copy this one and going to come back over here and paste this all right this is now looks fine i'm going to run the plan again let's see okay this is saying that error building account authentication uh, so there are no authentication let's copy this error and try to paste it on chat gpt again i am getting an error again if you 
now notice it is already know what context we are talking against we are talking against all the previous query chat gpt has given us so it says i'm sorry to hear that you're encountering another error which means it uh, in, it recognizes there was one error before and there's another error can you please provide the error message so i'm just going to paste in the error message and i don't need to tell which error message and what error message it's going to just uh, use their own algorithm use their own uh, permutation and it's going to tell us that okay the error message that you are indicating is that terraform is unable to authenticate with azure using cli there could be several ways of doing it first is cli if it's not installed you could simply install it uh, if the cli is not configured you could do that as well right so what chat gpt is saying that we gotta be run an easy login against our account and start the authentication process so what i'm going to do is i'm going to pull in my terminal do a easy login right that's going to take me to the azure login page and just going to paste copy this one paste it right over here so that this is authenticated all right this is authenticated now if we come back to our terminal you would see that uh, the subscription is now available. I've got many subscriptions. So what I'm going to do is this is one step I'm doing from my end uh, and probably not using the help of chat GPT. So what I'm saying is set the subscription to this because I've got multiple subscription. Now what I'm going to do is uh, we should have this uh, storage account created and this resource group as well. If you go back to our portal, you would see that there is no storage uh, resource group with name of example group. Now this would fail because example account is a very common name, but let this fail and we're going to resolve using chat GPT. So what I'm going to do is do a Terraform apply. All right. And this is going to ask whether um, we are happy to apply these uh, changes and apply these changes and create infrastructure on Azure or not. Uh, once we have gotten this response, we're going to say yes, we are. So it's going to ask us whether it's yes or no. I'm going to say yes. As soon as I'm click uh, type in yes, it's going to start creating the infrastructure, the resource group and the storage account. Remember, the resource group would be created with the name as example account. Um, and this it, it should fail on the storage account and we're going to ask chat gpt to resolve that for us all right so the resource group is getting created we're going to come back over here keep hitting refresh and the resource group should be populating right over here all right uh, the resource group has been completed after three seconds how the storage account is still being created but as i told you this should error out because uh, the storage account name should be global and should be unique across azure so as you've seen that the storage account name is already taken example account name is already taken so what i'm going to do is i'm going to refresh and this should at least give me the example resource group which should be created uh, while this gets populated i'm going to take this error again and I'm going to go to chat GPT and say, I am, I am getting error. Please share the error message. I'm going to paste in the error message. And that's just going to tell me that you should have a unique storage account um, name. Let's, let's just wait for chat GPT to come up because it's still, we haven't given the context. Um, been waiting for a while and the session has expired and i've straight away just pasted in the error message so it's still digesting the uh, message looking up into the database which chat gpt has and then it is going to give us so now you as you can see that the error is started to come up uh, the suggestion from chat gpt started to come up this error message indicate that there is already a storage account in azure with this name you should create a globally unique name so now what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna create a name as chat chat gpt 4790 uh, this should be unique and we're just going to apply this and this time without any error it should apply now 
as you can see, they, they has given us an example also. We could use something. The date should be unique. Um, it is given with best of its knowledge. ChatGPT has suggested an example also. So what we're going to do is we're going to check back if the resource group is populating. So we are going to select all the resource right subscription. Going to hit apply and we have the example group. All right, now it's going to ask whether we want to create this storage account or not. And as soon as we say yes, uh, we should be able to create a brand new storage account. All right, storage account is getting created and should be populating under this resource group, which is example group. So if we keep hitting refresh, once the storage account is created, it should be populating right there. All right, while this is getting created, uh, that's it from uh, the session. I hope this was informative. As you could see that there are so many powerful things you could do with chat GPT. I didn't have to do research anything. Uh, I could use it as a personal assistant for my DevOps journey. And I, I showed you example how you could do it with Terraform and Azure. I hope this was super informative. Thank you.